All right, what's going on, YouTube? It's your buddy Will from the What's Up in the Sky 37 channel. We're online at www.whatsupinthesky.com. And the Curiosity rover has been putting pleasing lately. I tell you, it's been sending back anomaly filled pictures. I, uh, this one today looks like a little gopher on it. I don't know, like I said, of course, I'm not 100% sure that's a little gopher. It could always be a rock. But wait till I go ahead and I remove the background color, like this haze that gets put over top of it. Um, actually, you know what? I'm going to do it right now for you. I'm going to just do auto color. Basically, this is Photoshop, just doing auto color. All right. It pops a lot more then. You can see it a lot more. Let me just give it a little auto contrast, see if that helps too. A little bit. Now, in this picture also, this is one of the newer ones that just came out. Uh, in this set, a couple back, there was a uh, something that looked like a poodle. And, man, it looks just like a poodle. If you go back and look two or three videos ago, you'll see it. Um, this interesting rock here that just looks like it's being, you can't see why or how it's being propped up, but it's being propped up, almost looks like it has a hinge on it, and it looks like uh, it's been perfectly cut, or it almost looks like a foot, um, like a perfectly cut foot. Up here you've got this, uh, this side here is very interesting, and this is where the rover started heading toward because it wanted to see this part here. And uh, there's a couple anomalies here. As I back out, you'll see them. But look at the cuts in this rock here. Very interesting how this works. Almost like either they were designed this way with even the same type of, uh, the same, see, like the same markings on them. Um, but you'll see as I pull back. Also a couple of neat things in here. Um, some, some neat, you know, right here is another anomaly. A couple of things over here. Um, where else we got? We're going to be looking at a little bit of this picture. There's a couple of things on here we're going to look at. It's been a while since we had a good three or four anomaly video, so... Uh, got my new headphones. Everything seems to be working okay. Oh, uh, this block here as well. Oh, how could I forget as well as this thing right here that totally looks like a skull of a statue, like a big head. Here's the big forehead, crazy forehead, eyes, nose, mouth, even the sunken in eyes, the sunken in ear for the forehead. I'm just, you know, that's what it looks like here to me. I say, here's how, here's how my channel works. If you're new to my channel, a lot of people just subscribe. Like, you're probably sitting here thinking, if you just came to this channel, probably thinking, oh my god, that Will guy's batshit crazy. No, here's how I do it. I see what I see, you see what you see. All I'm doing is pointing out things that look earthly to me or look like they may be either are A, cool, you know, because sometimes this stuff, even if it's just rocks or, or how stuff's laid out, it's cool. Um, B, I, I, really what I'm here for is things that look like they could have belonged to an old civilization. I, for one, believe Mars has a uh, had a civilization, maybe even was part of our civilization at one time. Maybe we had two or three planets that we uh, occupied here uh, as humans at one time. Um, you know, everybody swears. Like some, it gets funny how my channel gets blown up, but I, I go to other YouTube channels that, that even mention something like that, and everybody's so sure of just our history here on Earth that, uh, you know, what we've been told is history. That everybody's so, so sure. It's just so hilarious to me. Like, like at any time in human history, humans were never wrong, you know. But, so here's another one here. It looks like, almost looks like one of those big clamps. To me, some of this looks like rock. Some of it also looks a little metal to me. This looks like it, some sort of sundial or something. It's even got, like, a circle cut out in it here. Um, and then, let's say, this anomaly here. Now, let me show you where to get it because I don't Photoshop. I was on a page the other day. Just here it is right here. I was going through somebody. And if you check below, check the description. I always leave the pages. I was, like, just searching the Internet, looking at pages that were, you know, putting my stuff up there. Because a lot of my a lot of my videos end up on other people's websites. And I don't care. It's publicity for me. It helps them. It, they get clicks on their website. It, it, it's a karma thing. I, I want this stuff to go as far far and as wide as can be so people can download these pictures so we all have them saved on our computers um but they were swearing oh you almost do a better photoshop job than uh will over what's up in the sky people swear i photoshop this stuff in i leave the link i leave the link for you to go look for yourself and people swear they don't they don't who knows Anyway, so check this thing out. Tell me, does this not look like a little uh, rodent to you? I mean, just like a little gopher or something. Oops, that's not what I wanted to do. But I, what I did want to do, I wanted to grab it like this and see if I can, uh, what happens when I auto-tone it. Pretty cool. It's just so interesting. That, that, that thing to me, and, and it looks just like, see, if you look here, like this would be the the nose, the eye, and it comes up, and you know how their head just come up? It looks just like it would. Here's a little baby tail in the background. It's got itself a shadow. His his eyes are tucked up under there. Um, now, like I said, go back a 
couple videos ago and look at that dog the canine it's called poodle canine dog found on mars by curiosity rover and tell me that's not just crazy especially when on the same type saw you know a couple days later you know the same area you see this so now let's take a good look at this one too because this sure does seem to be really weathered or really worked like hand worked um, to be coming down with some symmetry here like if you cut this thing in half it almost like it would fold it'd be perfect and this white piece right here it almost seems like a hinge or something like this is an opening for something and to me i'm not sure the martians when i say there was a civilization up there now i don't know if they were this big or if they were 50 feet tall I, i'm just speculating you know that's what i do here <laughs> as i i i got imagination we speculate you know um, unless we're doing space news stuff like that we we do a lot of that here as well um, but to me, how, what do you guys, how do you, how do you think that's being held up? Is there a rock we don't see? I mean, I don't get it. There's a lot of rocks in this general area. They're doing the same thing in a couple of videos from now. You're going to see some more, um, this here, when I said it looked like a sundial, see how just kind of here in the middle just looks like there's a lot of, uh, well, there's a lot of pixelization in, it, of course, but it just seems like there could be some sort of numbering or numbers or letters marked in there. Let me know what you guys think about that. And this here just looks, seems too cool. It just seems like this seems to be cut perfectly over. And I say that because this is there too. This seems to be notched. Like maybe this little bridge or something was part of something. And who knows? At this point, like I said, if this was any type of civilization that had, you know, a catastrophe, who knows what could have happened to all this stuff. Um, let's see. Now also, this looks like an interesting little anomaly here. And even like this right here, look at this ball. This, this, or whatever this is here has green in it. It's got different, some different colors. Um, and this here too was also, this intrigued me as well. This right here. Let me see if I can't do something with it. Pull it out. Adjustment, exposure. I don't know. See how it's like almost like a tray that's just buried in there? Um more of the colorful stuff here see that more of the color oh, this block right here too this block to me is cool i mean it just looks like it's chopped out most likely it's probably just part of this whatever this is you know that the layering of the rock this looks like it was underwater or had 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 some sort of water you know at least being rained on it for a very long time um or it could be you know slabs of something let's see Anything else in there that I wanted to take? Oh, over here too. Check this one out. This this rock just kind of looks like a just as comes out how it comes to a spear. I thought it was neat. It almost looks like this the supposed UFO on the moon that you see everywhere. Um, I, I, I haven't done that yet. I am going to do a video on that soon enough, so don't worry. Uh, I, I wanted to touch base on that because a lot of people have. I think Chris over at Mars Anomalies did one on the uh, spaceship up there. It was pretty good too. Uh, but there's a lot of stuff out there that, about it that I've found recently that I want, might want to add to some of it. But let's see if we can't take this one right here because this is kind of cool. It almost looks like a big Neanderthal skull. And uh, see if I can't make this one pop at all or at least come out or do something. To me, these should be these things should be like picture perfect. I mean, I can't believe it looks like an old I, I say it a lot. It looks like an old iPhone. They took these pictures. To me, it just doesn't seem right as much money as we spend. Um, and if you look here, it seems like it's been manipulated with on purpose, but that's just me saying that. It does seem to have looked to, you know, take the shape of a skull. And, uh, you know, I'm, I'm not going to hold my heart out on anything there. And, you know, I'm not going to, if you want to say that doesn't look anything like a skull, it's not going to hurt my feelings, believe me. So, um, heck, after having this YouTube channel for a year now, and nothing can hurt my feelings. <laughs> but anyway this was cool kind of cool too it almost just like i couldn't put my finger on what this was you know just you know probably just a rock but it's just kind of cool how let me back it up a little bit it seems like it, what was i trying to say it was kind of like a door hanger type thing <laughs> like the things you hang on your door when the uh like when you're selling your house that's what i was thinking about you know, when you're selling your house it looks like something like that but and they get you know the realtor gets the key out of it but once again, this up here is interesting to me, and it does seem like this is like some sort of circle thing, and this could have been a press. It almost looks like, you know, this would have came up, and this was like had hinges back here or something, and it would smack down, and, and you know, those t-shirt machines and stuff like that. Um, anyway, you know, like I said, I get speculative up here. And this was cool. Like up here, I noticed this rock thing here had the same pattern right here, kind of like two moon shapes, um, you know, crescent moons, and the that crescent pieces and up 
And there you go, back to this little this little duty dude again. I uh, must say, it sure does look like a little gopher or something like that. That's not the word I'm looking for, I don't think. Maybe. Uh, it's like a little meerkat. Not a meerkat. They, uh, uh, I can't remember. You know, gopher work. They, they, they all kind of look the same. Big old rat. Something like that. Let's see. Auto. No, let me do the uh, exposure one more time with this little guy. See if I can't give him some gamma. Kind of pull him out a little bit. I don't know. What do you guys think? And this right here too. What do you guys think about this stuff right here? Because this kind of looks interesting as well. It's next to this little green ball thing over there. But this kind of looks like a little, uh, like almost like a little medallion or something like that. But when I get all this stuff in one area on a picture, that's when I start saying, okay, so what's going on here? Is this all just random stuff that totally looks interesting? Or, you know, my eyes matricing this? I don't think so. Bunch of love, guys. What's up in the sky? 37. This is Will. Go check out the website, www.whatsupinthesky.com. The new comments for uh, Google, it's going to take some getting used to, guys. YouTube, it's kind of neat, though. I like how it... I mean, they've been pushing us to Google Plus for a long time anyway, so now this might help us get some publicity out. So go ahead and share this on Facebook. Send this on Google Plus. Do what you do. Much love to you all. Peace.